guys, so today we're going to review how to tell time on an analog clock. So I'm going to grab my whiteboard first. And on here, I've drawn a clock face. Okay, and this one doesn't have any hands or anything like that. But I want to review what all these numbers mean. So on the face of a clock, it's numbered 1 all the way around to 12. And these numbers tell us what the hour is. So like if we said 3 o'clock, we're referring to the hour of 3. Now on a real clock, you don't have these numbers, the ones that go around the outside. I drew these on there to remind you that those are our minutes. So when we figure out how many minutes it is in time, so if I said 315, right, be 3 hours 15 minutes, each one of these hour numbers represent 5 minutes. So it starts at the 12, the 12 is 0 minutes, and then remember we count by 5's. So at the 1 it's 5 minutes, the 2 it's 10 minutes, at the 3 it's 15 minutes, 4 is 20 minutes, 5 is 25, and the 6 is 30 minutes. And we can also refer to this as half, right? It's half of our minutes. So if I said it is half past 1, that's the same thing as 130, okay? And then we keep going counting by 5. So 7 is 35, 8 is 40, 9 is 45, 10 is 50, and 11 is 55. And after 55, we start back over when we get to 12, and that's a new hour. Okay? So I'm going to draw a quick example. So let's say I had something that looks like this. Okay? Remember, our hour hand is the shorter one. It's not as long as our minute hand. So on this example, which one is my hour hand? See if you can figure it out. Right. My hour is 10. So I know that my hour is going to be 10. And then we put our two little dots, right? That separates our hour and our minutes. And then I'm going to count by my fives to see how many minutes after 10 it is. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So again, I'm going to write my time as 10, 25. Alright, so now I'm going to put my whiteboard down. I'm going to get my clock. Alright, and this is called a Judy clock. And you guys have seen these before. So I'm going to turn the hands on my clock and make a few different times, and we're going to talk about them and see if we can figure them out. All right, and the Judy clock's cool because it works just like a normal clock. So as my minute hand goes around, my hour hand moves, and I didn't even have to touch it. So we started at noon, right? We started at 12, and then I went around one complete circle. So what time is it now? Good. It's one o'clock. So if I keep going with my minute hand and I stop on the seven, now let's look carefully. I want you to look at my hour hand. It moved, right? Now it's between the one and the two. So does that mean it's now two o'clock? Right, remember, it's not a new hour until we go all the way around. So even though it's between the one and the two, it's not made it to two yet, so it's not two o'clock yet. So it's still one, and then how many minutes? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we would write this as one, 35, right? Remember one, two little dots, and 35. So let's do another one. What if I keep going, keep going, and stop? Now what time do we have? 
Good, so we'll look at our hour hand first. It's between the three and the four, but it's not made it to the four yet. And our minute hand is around on the number nine. So when we count by fives, right, we can start here. We don't have to go all the way around because if we remember, the six is always 30. It's halfway around, so we can start on 30. We can say 30, 35, 40, 45. So now our time is 3, 45. All right, now let's keep going, keep going. What about now? So let's look at our hour hand. It's super close to the 6, but has it made it there yet? Not quite. So our hour is still going to be 5. Right, and our minute hand's made it a long way. It's not quite to the 12 yet. So if we counted by fives and went around, right? We know that this was 30. We just talked about this was 45. So if we went 45, 50, 55. Our time is going to be five, because we're not to the six yet. 55. Now let's say we had this time, 5.55. And you were eating supper, okay? Mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, your family was home from work. We'd fix supper and we were all sitting down to eat together. Would this be 5.55 a.m. or 5.55 p.m.? See if you can remember what those mean. All right, so remember, if it's in the evening, right, if it's later in the day, that is p.m. So if you were eating supper, it would be 5.55 p.m. What if we had this time, let's see, right here, okay? Our hour is 8 o'clock because we made it there, right? 8 o'clock and then our minutes are 5.10. So this is 8.10. Let's say you just crawled out of bed, you were watching your favorite TV show, and you are eating a bowl of cereal. Would this be 8.10 a.m. or 8.10 p.m.? Good, it would be a.m. because a.m. is in the morning, right? If we were still in school, this would be about the time we had finished announcements and we were getting ready to start our letter land and do all those fun things. All right, so let's talk for another minute. If both hands were straight up and down, right, straight up and down, this one's tricky, and you were eating lunch, all right, straight up and down, which means the hour hand and the minute hand are both on 12, so it's 12 o'clock, right? Because remember, it's zero minutes up here. And let's say now you were eating lunch, there's a tricky one. Would this be a.m. or p.m.? This one would be p.m. Because if you remember, all those morning hours, like when it's dark and then your mom or dad or somebody wakes you up and you're like, oh, and then you get out of bed and you eat breakfast, right? All the time before lunchtime is those morning hours. Those are a.m. And then once we get straight up and down, to lunchtime after that, right? When it starts getting later in the day and then you eat supper and then it gets dark and you go to bed, those are all our p.m. hours. So if it's daylight and it's 12 o'clock straight up and down, it's p.m. But if it goes around again and it comes back where both hands are on 12 and it's dark, then it's a.m. Okay, that's in the middle of the night, that's midnight when all the a.m. hours start again. All right, so I hope you guys remember all that from when we've learned it before. <clears throat> and I want you now to try to impress your families with your awesome time-telling skills. Love you guys, and I'll see you again soon.